Yes. Let's turn to some other matters now, because uh, what is it that makes a great guitarist? Could knowing the science behind your strumming make all the difference? Well, a physicist from here in the UK thinks he's worked out the perfect equation to make your music sound that bit better. We'll be meeting him in a minute. First, let's have a listen to some famous guitar riffs. <laughs> Well, there you go. And uh, here is Dr. David Grimes, a physicist at Oxford University, a keen guitarist. David, you've come up with this equation. Uh, first of all, <laughs> why? That's a very, very good question. Uh, the equation is a little bit oversold at the moment. Uh, what I've actually looked at is the physics of what happens when guitarists manipulate strings. The human voice is something we all love to listen to because when you hit a note and you sing it, you hold pitch, but you kind of you shake around the pitch, a kind of a natural vibrato. Guitars are interesting because you can do that as well. If you're playing a piano and you're looking at the notes, they're all discrete. You go between C and C sharp, if it's tuned mm -hmm. properly, of course. <laughs> um, but you don't really explore in between. With a guitar, you can manipulate the strings, push them up or down, or change your tension, and you can explore the microtonality between that. And as a keen guitarist and a physicist, I wanted to look at that. I definitely haven't found any magical formula for anything, but I have looked at the underlying mechanics, and I think that's... Kind and, of interesting. And you've come up with this equation. I'm not sure if we have it yet. We've got a picture of the equation. It's actually oh behind us. It uh, means nothing to most of us, but this obviously, the world of science crossed with music, <laughs> means everything. It, it's, it's oddly enough, the equation is, is, is stuff that's been intuitively known to guitarists for years. We've we, we know that things like string tension and, uh, has, has an effect on, on the note we pitch, and this is it's something you learn as, as an undergraduate physicist or even an A-level physicist. What I was more curious to is, if you start bending notes up, guitarists have a technique called bending, where they displace the note from the, the, the fret, you know, up. Do you want to show us? Yeah, You've sure, why not? Here. We've we got your ample set up, we've tested everything yeah. during the break. I apologise for any tonal properties, we'll see what happens <laughs> once you go. So what yeah. a guitarist will do that a lot of musicians, like uh, a lot of other instruments won't, is you'll do things like bending. So you'll sound, start off sounding one note, and then you'll raise it, its pitch, like... Uh -huh. So what's happening there is, I want to know what's happening. You're, 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 you have a note that you sound up and then you push it up. So I just looked at the mechanics underlying that. And it turns out it's actually relatively straightforward. I just wanted to quantify what guitarists have been doing for years. I don't think there's any new discovery per se. I just wanted to see what was going on. Did you go through all the most famous guitar solos and sort of analyse each one? Oh, God, no. I've done that as a musician. I've done that as, uh, as I want to learn how to play this Jimmy Page one or this Steve Vai one or this John Petrucci lick. But that's, I think, all guitarists do. That's a very uh, instinctual thing we do. What I want to do with this is work out, actually, from a mechanical perspective, what's happening and it was just nice to do it as a guitarist to work out and it, it's told me some interesting things it's told me uh things that you've known as guitarists for years like how much so action again, you need yeah. yeah yeah we well there's things like things guitarists like uh low action they like to know that if you're if your strings are close to your fretboard it's usually easier to play and i've been able to quantify things like that N nothing you know not rocket science but just nice to know and quantify the underlying principles that guitarists have instinctively known for years. So I guess that's the biggest thing it's I think it's another done. fascinating detail is the fact that this is just your hobby, if you like. Your actual yeah. real job is, is in the oncology department studying cancer treatments. Specifically, we study um, oxygen distribution in cancers because that has a big impact on how treatment works. And if you know where the oxygen is, you can, in theory, improve your treatment. So this is definitely not my day, my day gig, as the expression. Dave, I know, I know you've You've brought your guitar. We should get a bit more music out of it than just that one note that you I only played paid for around with. Uh, uh, are you able to play us anything while you chat? Oh, God. You, 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 I suppose I could. But well, uh, Even if it's just an example of, of, of what you're talking about again. Well, I, I suppose I could show you the, how you can implement these things like vibrato. I mean, yeah. when guitars play, they won't just hit a note and sound it. They'll, they'll do stuff like this. Or even they'll change the tension and they'll modulate it this way. So if you're playing, if you're putting things together, you could play something nice. Or something. like that I mean you can what you're doing instinctively what is going on for years is they're they're making the string oscillate they're bending it really really quickly or they're changing the tension really really fast and all I've really done is quantify that 
from um, the, the physicist inside me wanted to know why that does that. And we're very simple creatures, physicists, so we have to break things down into chunks that we can understand, or David, at least I do. <laughs> we appreciate that so much. We're out of time. Dr. David Grimes from Oxford University. Thank you very much. We really appreciate you coming, and thanks so much. Cheers. Now, uh, we're going to